It's a homemade pig trap with the GSM cellular relay to operate the door. It's made out of a round hay bale ring. I added some cattle panels to it and a piece of 3 8 inch rebar around the top to give it some rigidity. This is the mechanism right here. That's a 12 inch long bar. And this piece right here, I believe is two inches from the end. I made me a sear out of a piece of aluminum and, some, and a quarter inch bolt. All the uh, hardware is either stainless steel, brass, or aluminum. So I don't have to worry about corrosion. I mounted the uh, control board into this military ammo can and I'm running it off two batteries. I have a separate battery for the solenoid that pulls the uh, cable that lets the sear loose. And then I got a different battery for the uh, control board. I put a switch inside there. You can see here. I got a switch over there <clears throat> on the left. I got everything fused in case a squirrel chews on the wire or something. I have a short, so I got all that done. And uh, this is the control box. You see the little uh, control board in there. I got a separate solenoid on there, on this end here, to run the bigger 35 pound solenoid. 35 pounds was plenty big enough. I probably could have went smaller on that, compacted everything. That uh, board right there is a Kao Time GSM Auto Relay. And it's uh, made for 4G LTE or 3G, either one. I went in and I painted everything black. I use glossy paint because gloss paint has more resin in it. The more resin it has in it, the more durable it is. That door right there sticks up a little bit more than half of the length. And I found out that if you stick within about a half or maybe just a little bit more than half the length of the door, then uh, you can still let it go freely without it kind of binding, you know, trying to cock catty corner. That works real good. You can see up here on the cattle panel, I put this 3 8 inch rebar around the top. That really helps out a lot on making it where it's not real flimsy. These uh, slides here for the uh, door are made out of unistrut, like you use to hang uh, conduit. And this is, I believe it's one inch or inch and a quarter. I think it's one inch galvanized pipe and that goes off the inside diameter. I made the door where it's removable. You see the little bolts I got. Take those bolts out and the whole door come out and then you can use it on a, uh, a corral. Then that way you can get away from this little bitty pin if you don't want to use it. I put a real thin piece of metal on the bottom and I've got it sticking down about an inch further below the trap than the bottom edge. That way I could dig a little trench and bury it and put dirt over it and then the pigs won't feel it when they walk in. And also, I used a three and a half foot wide door, which is pretty wide for such a small trap, but I wanted it to be inviting and not make them feel like that they were being confined quite so much. They're more likely to go in there when you got a wider door and nothing across the threshold for their feet to touch. But that's my setup. I'm waiting on the Mississippi River to go down where we can deploy it, find out if we can catch some hogs with it. We'll have to use a, uh, one of them GSM cellular cameras that sends you pictures to your phone. That's how we're planning on monitoring it. And uh, I may build a video system here later on and uh, use that to watch it. But right now, this is what we got. All right, over and out.